Hey guys, how's it going? Hope for being a great day. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than the videos I'm used to shooting. It's going to be more of a vlog style video, I guess you could say. Um, I'm actually here at Ganyan Sports in Oshawa. It's a tackle shop I come to pretty often. Um, I'm here to just chat with a couple of friends and to buy a couple of items before bass season opens. So um, I'm going to be doing a lot of shopping and all that stuff. And I also have asked you guys a couple nights back uh, for some Q&A questions. So I'll be answering those Q&A questions inside the tackle shop. I figured it'd be a pretty cool idea because I'll have all the lures possible around me to show you guys um, to help you answer to help me answer your questions. It's gonna be pretty fun, I think, at least. I got about an hour and a half to kill here. So uh, let's just get into Ganyan Sports. Look no. at this old uh, quantum right here. This is uh, no, Michael's even... quantum. Oh, hey, Michael. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> uh, it's Michael's old quantum that he found in his drawer, actually. <laughs> Look how old this thing is. How old is it? It's, it's is. Uh, eight to seven to eight years old, I would seven say. Seven to eight years old. It's an accu Acuris? Yeah. Look at that thing. Early 2000s. Flip and switch. <laughs> down flip here switch? has the flip oh, and yeah, switch does. on it. Right there. That's awesome. That's pretty cool to see. So I'm actually also filming off a new camera. I picked up a new camera a couple days back. This is my first time using it. So hopefully this video turns out okay. But um, I have a couple things I have to pick up. First on my list are some rod gloves. Uh, I gotta get two more of these bad boys for bait casters just because I'm running a little bit low. New rods coming in and all that stuff. And I'm also here to pick up some of those Fuji guides um, for, for your rod, to keep on your rod so you can hook your bait or your hook. And they don't seem to have any, I wanna ask again. But if they did, they would be here and I don't see any, unfortunately. But uh, first thing on my list is checked off. So next on the list we got deep crankbaits. I gotta get a couple 18 to 20 foot diving crankbaits. Um, here we got some of the Arashi ones and some 6XDs. So I'm going to probably go with one of the 6XDs and a crappy color here for the Arashi Deep 18. I also wanted to pick up a couple of the Rhythm Wave uh, swim baits here for some perch. Unfortunately, they don't have any of the 2-inch ones. I think it's 2.8-inch that uh, Jackal makes. So, unfortunately, I don't have any, but I'm going to look around and see if they have any other swim baits that are that size, that small size, I guess you could say. Uh, I've seen a couple people actually destroy perch, like fully destroy perch on tiny, tiny swim baits, um, mostly those Jackal rhythm waves. But um, I'm pretty much done for shopping. Oh, I have to pick up a couple of bobbers. Bobbers, 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 bobbers. Bobbers, 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 bobbers. Okay. Let's go with some of these little guys here. Grant and Dilemma. <laughs> I'm thinking about how many rods I have because I need to buy rod socks. I don't want them. We're to stocking match. up on rod gloves today, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Cool I, need, I literally need to think about this more in depth just to see how many like I have. Alright, so now on to the Q&A section of this video. I got a bunch of questions from you guys on Instagram. I'm going to be walking around the store and answering those questions, showing you guys the baits that I would use, uh, giving you guys examples and all that stuff. So let's head on to the jerkbait section first. I got a question from Gil Tech. Uh, what is my favorite jerkbait? I'll go show you guys right now. Alright, so my favorite jerkbait at the moment, it's pretty cheap. Um, not the best build quality, but definitely catches fish, is the Rapala Shadow Wrap Deep, as you guys can see right there. Not in the specific color, my favorite color is actually this color right here, the perch color, but this model is my favorite. So next up, a question from Fire Boats. He asks, best drop shot hook? Now, I used to use a standard drop shot hook, like a mosquito hook, but last year I switched to these guys right here. I switched to the VMC Spin Shots right here. They have a little barrel at the top so it prevents line twists and all that stuff. You do have to tie one extra knot, but zero line twist and zero issues with this hook right here. It's a great hook. Um, not too expensive either. Other brands do have this version of a hook, the Spin Shot version of a drop shot hook, sorry. But um, this one's the cheapest and I've never had an issue with it whatsoever. Favorite size is size one actually, so right here. That's my favorite size. 
Garrett Joy asks, if you could only use one bait or rig for bass, what would it be? For me, it's a drop shot. It's a confidence bait for me. Um, I'm always able to catch at least one fish on a drop shot if a day's going bad or something like that. Um, I would use that spin shot hook I just showed you guys. Um, I would use 10 to 20 pound braid, power pour braid, to an 8 to 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Then I'd use that spin shot hook by VMC and then I'd put a kill shot on there, an angler's choice kill shot, drop shot bait. Love those baits a lot. Unfortunately, they don't have any here at Ganyan Sports, so I can't show you guys. I'll put a picture in right here though. But um, great setup, catches me a lot, a lot of fish. So the next question is from Max the Bass King. If you could only catch either largemouth or smallmouth for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? And let's add the question why. So for me, it's smallmouth. Um, a lot prettier fish in my opinion, and they fight so hard compared to largemouth. Just a lot more fun to catch, for me at least. I'm also going to pass this question on to Grant right here. We'll see what he says. I grew up doing a lot of smallmouth, smallmouth fishing, and then I was more introduced to largemouth fishing the past couple years. But I guess in my heart I want to... I think I'd go with smallmouth as well, because they fight a little harder. And you know, you personally know yourself what they fight like. And... Uh, yeah, smallmouth. Yeah, there's like, yeah, smallmouth all the way. Oh, hello there. <laughs> so Omar M Photography asks, what camera and what lens I use? This is the brand new camera I picked up. It's the Sony A6300. And I just have the kit lens on here. I think it's a 3.5 to a 5.6 or something like that. Um, yeah, you guys can see right there, shooting with it right now. But um, brand new camera first day using it. So next question is from Cody J. Cromer and he asks top three bucket list saltwater fish. Um, I already got Barracuda knocked off that bucket list and when I caught them in Cuba but I really want to catch any kind of shark. Um, just be cool to say I caught a shark. A goliath grouper of any sort as well, any size really. I just want to say I just caught a goliath grouper. Those get really, really big. And probably a sailfish just because I've always kind of admired them, how pretty they look and all that stuff. And uh, I heard they have to go really, really deep to catch them. So I think that'd be pretty cool. So the next question is from manlink.connor and he asks, do you like carp fishing? Um, I don't really like sitting and fishing kind of thing. I know for carp fishing, you just gotta throw your line out and kind of wait there for the fish to bite. Not really my style of fishing, but um, I do know that they do put up a hell of a fight once you do hook them. Devin Davis 9748 asks, what's your favorite thing about vlogging and making fishing videos? And that... <laughs> Loons. I'm always terrified of hooking a loon. There's so many loons on my lake. So back to the question, um, why I like making videos. It's just a bunch of fun for me personally and I love sharing the experience with you guys, getting all of your feedback and all that stuff. Um, you know, I don't have many, too many friends that fish, so this way I'm able to interact with you guys, you know, learn a little bit from you guys, and you guys can learn from me as well. Um, I also like documenting all of my stories, I guess you could say. There's <laughs> no friends that fish. Hi, I'm here. Okay, well, other, other, other than him, I'm other kidding, than him, I'm other kidding. than him. Um, but yeah, it's just a bunch of fun making and filming and editing. A lot of people complain about the editing. I don't mind. I actually really like it. Brings out my creative side, but it's just a bunch of fun. So the next question is by Isabel. Best largemouth and smally bait. So separately, one largemouth and one smallmouth. Uh, best largemouth bait, in my opinion, is a half ounce flipping jig with uh, any kind of cross style trailer on it. Something that doesn't kick but just has a nice action to it. Uh, and best smallmouth bait would be a jerk bait. Vision 110, uh, Rapala Squad Minnow, stuff like that. Any kind of fast moving five to four and a half inch jerk bait. Mind you guys, he flips all day. <laughs> yeah, jigs, 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 and plastic. MT flipping. MT flipping. He has a YouTube go. channel called MT Fishing. Little shout out for you right yeah, here, Michael. Come on to Ganyon Sports. We're here five or six days a week. And any any questions you have, just let us know. Add. <laughs> so the last question is by Kenji Toronto. Favorite color of Senkos to use? I like to stick to uh, natural colors. Um, I like the blues, the blacks, and the green pumpkins. I mostly only use green pumpkins. I'll show you a couple colors that I do recommend. Let's see right here. These guys right here, these are smoke blue blue chartreuse yeah coming right now 
All right, so these are green pumpkin blue. I gotta go right now, I gotta pay for my stuff. But any green pumpkin color will work. All right guys, well that's it for today's video. Huge shout out to all the guys that commented Q&A questions on my Instagram. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It was a little bit different than what I usually do. Um, you know, I was in the shop the whole time. But I'm quickly gonna go over what I bought. I also stopped uh, by at sale afterwards just to see if they had some of the smaller rhythm waves. They didn't, but I ended up buying a couple more stuff, obviously. So quickly gonna go through everything I bought today. So first off, I gained in sports. You guys saw what I was picking out, but we got ourselves two of the Rod Glove bait casting um, covers here. As you guys know, most of you guys know, I have covers on all my rods. I have to keep my stuff in mint condition and that stuff. And these guys definitely help protect the guides, the line, and the blank itself. So two more here uh, for bait casting. We also got ourselves bobbers for some pan fishing. A little bit smaller than the ones I have now. Got a couple of tips from my last, uh, my last pan fish video to go with some smaller bobbers. So thank you guys. And we got ourselves two deeper diving crankbaits. I was looking for some 20 footers. We got the 6XD, which dives about 19 feet. And then we got the Arashi here. This is the Arashi deep 18 feet, goes up to 18 feet. And this is the crappy colorway right here. And I also picked up the 6XD, my first 6XD ever. Uh, this one is in clear water minnow, as you guys can see right here. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. I'm inside the house now. But um, can't wait to give this guy a shot when bass season opens. And then at sale, um, I went in there again, like I said, to find some rhythm waves. I didn't find any of the smaller size that I wanted. So um, I went on a different bait and I also picked up a bunch of uh, pike baits that I'll be hopefully using this weekend. Uh, so we got ourselves the impulse reaction baits. What are these called? Smelt, I guess. These are 2.5 inches, perfect for some perch, some uh, panfish and all that stuff. Hopefully gonna be catching some perch with these guys this weekend. This is, is the color smelt? I think the color itself is smelt. I'm not quite sure what the bait is. Yeah, but these you guys can see by the package right here what they look like. And last but not least, we got ourselves two of the MEPS Cyclones. I've heard amazing things about these baits. Never tried one, actually. The chartreuse orange kind of color. This is the size two. You guys can see right here. And we got ourselves the size three. This is like a gold with some red accents. You guys can see right there. Um, I actually got this recommended from a buddy of mine at sale. So hopefully this can bring some pike in for me this weekend. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully the camera quality is okay. Again, I won't see until I put it on my laptop and all that stuff. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it's all good. Um, thank you guys for watching. All my social media is down below if you guys want to get in contact with me and all that stuff. If you guys have any comments, any questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.